Julian, hey, how are we uh, doing with those codes? Not good. I messed up and I accidentally deleted Alice's outgoing message and now I have to record a new one. Uh, how does this sound? Hi, you've reached Alice. I'm Alice and this is my voice and I'm the boss. Leave a message. I installed a urinal in the bedroom. In the bedroom, on the wall. And Excuse me? And the, the mold is directly underneath that. You installed what on your wall? A urinal. You know, like a, a bathroom for males. Why would you do that? Because it was too far to walk to the bathroom. Are you ill? Kind of. I have bladder issues. Um, well, you did this. You're going to be responsible for getting rid of this. You're not supposed to do that. Are you home now? Well, you can't have us living in a place that has mold. Well, you can't, you're not supposed to be putting urinals in bathrooms. And if that's where it's coming from, you're the one that well, created the problem. I didn't put the urinal in the bathroom. I put it in the bedroom. And where is the mold? It's directly underneath the urinal. But see, there was no drain... Are you, are you home now, sir? Yeah, there was no drainage pipe in that wall. So the, I just had the drain pipe go into the wall. So basically it's not draining anywhere. It's just, you know, it's pooling inside the wall there. What is? Your, your urine? Yes. Are you insane? I figured that'd be okay because it's like... It no, it's get, not okay. Is, is Monster and Bruce even living there? It doesn't get used more than like maybe twice a night. I don't care. Is Monster and, and Bruce living there? They're not here right now. For how long are they gone? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're their son. Did they go well, away for a week? Uh, yeah, they're... A, well, Bruce is at work right now. All right, I'm gonna. I'm sending my husband over there now. I don't you see why home? you're getting so mad at me because I'm just trying to. I'm explain getting mad at you. I'm getting mad at you because you've done something that I've never even heard of in my entire life. You've never heard of urinal. someone installing a urinal. Never. But you never. Ne you know urinals exist, right? They're it's not like a made-up thing. No, they exist, but putting it in a wall and it's got no place to drain. Well, maybe you guys should come over and put a drain pipe in. Well, maybe you should take the damn thing out. I am calling my husband. I'm not taking it out because I have medical issues and I need the urinal in the bedroom. You are not having a urinal, young man. I will call my husband. Are you home now? We, we clearly are having a urinal because it's there right now. We're not taking it out. Young man, young it, man, are you home now? Yes, but if you come over, I'm not, I even, I'm not opening the door because I don't want my urinal taken out. So good luck getting I'm, in. I'm, call, I'm calling Bert, Bert, uh, Bruce and I'm calling Master right now. I've never heard of anything so ludicrous. I'm not going to call in them, okay? Well, they're, they're not, they're going to agree. They're not going to let you take the urinal. No, they're not going to agree. You can't take the urinal out. Yes, we can. I, I need we it. can it's do for, whatever we want. For health there. reasons. You don't it shows own in our lease. You rent it. It shows You in don't our have lease. a draining anywhere. You have a draining into a wall that could affect other people. You can't discriminate against health reasons. It's not a health reason, sir. We have a bad. It is a health reason. I have bladder cancer. I'm sorry to hear that. I really am. I'm well, very sorry. you don't sound sorry because you're trying to take away my treatment. No, my son just passed away from cancer, and he had bladder cancer and lung cancer, and we did not install a urinal, okay? So don't tell oh, me Oh, maybe that's the issue. problem. Do you ever think of that? No, it is not the problem. Don't be so sarcastic. I am calling Bruce right now. Fine. You're not getting my urinal.
I've received two. Two yeah, calls? I'm going to tell you the content of them, but it's concerning this. Now, you say it's leaking in your bedroom? Yes, so, so, two calls before me? You don't need to know about that. I'm just, I just want to know. 303 Tower 1. Are you at home now? Yes, of course my home. It's leaking down here. Okay. I will call my husband and I'll have a call with you. Wait, were they also complaining about leaking? No, I, I'm not going to get into it, what the phone calls were about. I just, okay, I just had it designed. Can you tell me, did, did Bruce and Marcia go out of town? I'm not telling you anything, okay? Other than um, my husband will be at your suite, so. Hey, you, you, you don't have to be a bitch about it. I'm not being a bitch. All right, and I don't appreciate you calling me. I, it's just none of your business. I'm, I'm trying to tell you that well, then, tonight. Well, then but... why, why did you say it in the first place? You yes. shouldn't have said yes. anything in the first place. Okay, listen, Erica, my husband will be there in a few minutes, okay? Thank you. How did you know my name? I'm the manager. You know everybody in the building? That's my job. Your, your name is Erica Kimi, and you moved in October 15th of 2011. I have your phone number and everything. Wow. Well, I it's... I mean, wow. Because okay. if you're so good at managing this building, why is there a leak? I have no idea, Erica. That's it's why I'm smell. going to have my husband to be there, okay? Thank you. What is this about? Goodbye. Thanks for that opening music, Johan. He has a bunch of A's in his name. I have to say it like that. I put a link in the show notes to his SoundCloud if you want to listen to that in higher quality or whatever. So, hey, everyone, you're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 443, and this one is sponsored by Matt Z. Thank you, Matt Z, for being a supporter on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. Matt Z gets an extra show every week, sometimes two, and access to a big archive of extra secret shows that nobody else gets to hear except for people like Matt Z and Robert S and Jason B and David J, King Richard, Gobi, Teen Wolf Jesus, Sean L, Miguel F, Buster C, Murray K, Julian J, Todd L, Nagler, Xander Fett, Kiraz. Those are a few of the people last month that I didn't get around to making them sponsors of shows, I don't think. Or maybe I did. I can't remember. I can't keep up with all this stuff. All I know is they're good people because they support the show. They keep more shows happening. This whole thing's just totally getting out of hand at this point. Someone needs to put a stop to it. Today is Saturday, February 24th, 2018, and I did a live show this morning. I was going to try and do some of Tim Riggie's, um, you know, his demands on me, those time capsule calls. Even though I've already done some, I really wanted to do some more on a live show. But that didn't go quite as planned as you'll hear in the first part of the show. But after that, it picks up. Just hang in there, everyone. I'm sure I'm going to edit most of the first part of the show out because people just were not answering and things were not working out. Maybe just skip forward 10 minutes or so. I don't really have any show notes or anything, though, so I guess we'll just get right into it. Here is today's live show. So hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm doing a live show. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I still have all this this damn uh what is it called like time capsule stuff who sent that to me tim riggy he, he's like just insisting that i do time capsule calls i did one time capsule show i don't feel like i used up all of his ideas though so maybe we'll do some more of those i've got a big old list here from someone named pyro i don't know it's it's a list it's a list of people's names and phone numbers their address we could do some roof removal calls. We could do some true green calls. It's got their phone numbers and their cell phones. Um, they all work at a school, like a private school thing. But So I guess we can't call the school because it's Saturday. They probably won't be there. So yeah, we've got things we can do here. I'm not going to do a long, super long show, so don't get too comfortable. I got shit to do today. Um, Alex Patterson wants to know which chat room I'm going to be reading. I have them both here on the same screen. I'm mostly paying attention to the Mixler, but I am kind of looking at the the other one. The thing, the Discord, the PLA Discord. So, I don't know. Uh, let's get started, I guess. Um, thanks, Pyro, for this list. It's a huge list of people. They're all over on the East Coast. 
Maybe we could just start out with a true green call to get warmed up. Let me find uh, Tim Rig Riggie's time capsule list. Cause he, he, he just mostly sent a gigantic list of ideas because he really wants me to do time capsule calls. And whatever Tim Riggie wants, Tim Riggie gets. Maybe nobody on this list will pick up at all. I don't know. It's probably just going to be a shitty show for all we know. So let's try the first one on the list. Anna. I'm calling from her area code, 420-6969. Hello. Please leave a message after... Oh, let's hack their answering machine. It'll be funny. Ruining my show. Your call has been forwarded God, to I an hate Anna. What's Anna doing on a Saturday that she can't pick up her phone? It's... She's a teacher, damn it. Hello, Kevin? Ah, he picked up and he just sat there. You gotta say hello, Kevin. Come on. Kevin, you gotta say hello. You're supposed to say hello. Why, why is he just... <sighs> okay. Kevin! Hello? Oh, hey, you said hello this time. Yay! Oh, who is this? Oh, you forgot to say hello before. This is um, Steve Dave from Two Green. I needed to let you know that we accidentally sprayed your lawn. Okay. Uh, we were supposed to do the neighbors, but we accidentally did your lawn instead. Okay. So, yep, your grass is no more. Um, I'm guessing you're not home right now? Ah, come on, Kevin. He definitely wasn't home. I wanted to tell him that we, we pulled up his lawn. We just <laughs> replaced it. We put a bit, we put down a bunch of dirt. That's it. That's what we did. We need to find people who aren't home. I should have been like, incidentally, uh, there's a roofing company here. They're tearing off your roof. I can put them on the phone for you. Be like, hello, this is Royco. Royco Roofing. On the phone. Hello. Oh, I don't have this lady's address. Hi, this is Maggie. Alton. So that's good that she didn't pick up. So for those who've never been on a live show before, you know, listen to a live show, it's like 30 minutes of songs, and then a bunch of phones ringing. Nobody ever picks up. And through the magic of editing, I, I take the few that picked up and make a podcast out of it. So don't worry, this is normal. It's always boring. Just, oh, hello. Your message, I'll call you. Ah, shit. Mark. Mark tricked me with his machine. The Bannock family. Please leave a message. <laughs> wow. uh, sounds like a very pleasant wife. Okay, Madeline, she's going to pick up for sure. I have a good feeling about this one. Big money, big money. Hi, you reached Madeline. Leave I have a really good feeling about this next one, you guys. He's going to pick up for sure. His name is Robert. What, what person named Robert would not be home on a Saturday sitting by the phone? It would be crazy if he doesn't pick up. Hello. Hello, Robert? Yeah. Hey, it's uh, Steve Dave from True Green. Um, we accidentally uh -huh. sprayed your lawn. Did you know about that? You're from where? I'm sorry. Uh, True Green. You know the grass company? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we sprayed your lawn. We were supposed to do your neighbor's. Are, you're not home right uh, now, I'm, are you? I'm, I'm at Academy. Are you sure you're talking to the right person? I'm, I'm on campus. Oh, no, I'm talking about your lawn on Main Street. Yeah, but I, I'm telling you, I'm in a, a house on Academy's campus. Okay, I, I don't have a residence in town as you would normally mean that. I'm on the campus at Academy. You would have had a contract with Academy? Oh no, Is some, that true? So yeah, some people they they have independent contracts here where they where they live in the houses. No, I, I, I oh, okay. I, I doubt that's really the case. I mean, we have Oh, a, yes a it is. Crew. Okay. You don't know what you're talking um, about, lady. But no, what I'm saying is we accidentally sprayed your lawn instead of the the one down uh, the way. What, well, who who's the name of the contract that you were intending to Spray their oh, I can't I tell you that. Are. You could be an identity thief, so I can't tell you that. But we did Main Street. Yeah. Like, are you home right now? Yes, I am. Okay, because we did this yesterday. And I don't see why you're being such a dick about the whole thing, because I'm just trying to tell you about a problem. So now I'm just confused. They live 
on the school grounds? What? Should I be calling their business number? Do they, is this like they're, they're, I'm so confused. I think I'm just going to quit this list. Fuck it, you know? <laughs> what the hell is this? It's a private school. The teachers live at the school. You know how like it's weird to, to like when you, you go out in public and you see your teacher somewhere and they're out doing normal things. You're like, oh my God, they have a life outside of the school. At this school, they don't. They're teachers all the time. They just live on the campus. That's the weirdest thing ever. Yeah, it's a cult. Exactly, it's a cult. I hate this list. I'm going to finish up the bees, and if I don't have any better luck in these next few numbers, then screw it. Got to move on to something else. And I don't have anything else prepared, so probably going to be a music break. Then I'll just give up and go off the air, pretend this never happened. Hello? Hi, Deborah. Yes. Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with True Green. Um, I needed to let you know that we accidentally um, did your lawn today. Or not today, but we did your lawn. Oh, uh, well, we, we have a lawn, another lawn service. I know. We were supposed to do the neighbor's lawn, but they put the wrong address down. You're not home right now, I guess, are you? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure it's... Did you do it today? Oh, no, not, the other day? no not today. It is uh, recently, like a couple days ago. And have, okay. have you noticed the problem yet? Cause we, have we noticed a problem? We put this grass eradicator stuff on it. It's, it's supposed to make your uh, grass just completely fall out. You're just going to have a dirt lawn. Because they were wanting to uh, get rid of their grass and put down rocks and stuff. Put down, like, um, you know, wood chips and all that. I have no idea what you're talking about okay, in terms so of you you mean you're telling me that you're going to kill our whole grass system? Yeah, well, no, we already did. It just takes a few days to take effect. Like, have you been out there? Has it turned yellow yet? Has it started to fall it, out? It, well, yeah, I'm looking at it now, yeah. Is it kind of yellow? Yep. Oh, man, that that has nothing to do with it being winter still. It's it's actually, uh, it's you're going to notice it start to just kind of fly away like like dust over the next couple of days and within a week you're going to be left with nothing but dirt I'm speechless how can a mistake be made like this it's like the neighbor um, he just lives a little bit down the way he put the wrong um, number the wrong house number on the form here so it's basically all his fault the cool thing is though that the the formula that we use it actually turns your dirt blue so it's not going to look like just normal brown, muddy dirt. It's going to look like blue dirt. Yeah. So your lawn's going to be blue. There's just not going to be any grass in it. Well, we have like two dogs. So basically we're going to have mud pits from the front and the back. Like, well, can <laughs> and you, that the whole thing has to be reseeded again. Can you really call it mud, though, if it's blue? No, but I have two dogs that are labs that run in the yard. So you're telling me that the whole grass is going to have to be reseeded again? Well, reseeding is not going to work. You're going to have to put rocks down or wood chips or something because this stuff is pretty much permanent. But it's not like they're going to be tracking mud in the house if they go out and they run around in the yard. They're going to be tracking like blue. Well, it's, it's like wait they stepped a minute. in blue you're paint. You're telling me that I'm not going to have any grass at all and I have to put wood chips down? That would be the best bet at this point. Um, it'll be ready for grass seeds in another five years. This is like the industrial strength formula. You're, you're kidding me. No, I you're wouldn't. You're having... I wouldn't. We're selling our house in like a year. Oh, so... So you're telling me good. that you're, you just killed all of my grass in the front and the backyard? Yes, all of it. But... It's for the best. Like when you think about it, grass is kind of like a an uppity thing. No, no, no. Thing. I, very, I don't very... understand. I'm going to put. Hold on. I'm putting my husband on the phone. <sighs> well, grass is just pretentious, is what I'm. Is a joke? Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Bond. Hi. Hi. Um. So yeah, we we just the neighbor he put down the wrong address on the form here. And I guess we uh, we did your lawn instead of his lawn. And he's upset because we didn't use the stuff on his lawn. So now we've got to refill the container and come back. And that's a lot of money. 
But oh. your your grass, <laughs> what? And who are you with? Which company are you with? Uh, True Green. And who did you do work for? Um, well, just a guy down the street. I'm not allowed to give out customer information to, uh, you know, you're not him. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I'm sorry, EJ? Yep, EJ Williams. Okay, Okay. you're from True, True Green. Your number is, what's your phone number? Uh, it's on the caller ID there. Just look on the caller ID. It's right there. But yeah, your grass is going to fall out, and um, it's probably started to turn yellow already. Within a week, it's just going to be a mud pit out there, basically. Uh -huh. Or not a mud pit. You know, That's what your wife is saying. She's right. got that in my head because she's overreacting. Right. But no, it's just going to be dirt. So, Okay, so how are you guys going to correct, uh, correct this? Um, we are going to refill our truck and do the correct neighbor's yard. He's pretty upset that it didn't okay. happen this weekend because he was going to start laying down the the bark chips and rocks and landscaping stuff. Right. So, but how are you going to fix our yard? Um, well, she said you're moving in a year anyway. She said it didn't really matter. <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't matter? This has got to be a joke. No, I wouldn't. If you put down some and you, you tell me you're killing our, our yard, you got to fix it I'll, immediately. It's not really our fault because the neighbor, he put down the wrong house number. And we just did what was on the form. So um, I'll well, I'll let him know he needs to contact you and fix that. Well, you, what you need to do is have your have a lawyer from your company call us. Because I mean, we're suing you. You guys did the wrong yard. Yeah. Well, no, it's not it's our fault hardware. though. Like we've got the paperwork here that shows that the neighbor wrote down the wrong address. Okay. Or I well, mean, he gave then, it to us, or, or maybe just the guy typed it in wrong. I'm not sure, but it's definitely the wrong right. address on here. Okay. So this is either a joke. Or, uh, I don't see why you think this is a joke, to. and I also don't think I don't see why you're eating on the phone. It's very disrespectful. It sounds <laughs> disgusting. This is, this is a joke, damn it! Somebody pulling a prank. No. Uh, yeah. So, uh, anyways, so what's the name of the neighbor? You can't tell me. Um, well, I can let the neighbor know to get in touch with you, and he can fix your lawn. Okay. Thank you. And if you want to know this isn't a joke, I can put my supervisor on the phone. Oh man. Everyone's telling me to do the hold music. I was going to. I was going to get my supervisor. But nope. I wish she hadn't put her husband on the phone. She, she was upset. He, he just knew it was a joke right away. What the hell? Is this some kind of a joke? Is this some kind of a joke? Hey, it's Crazy Calvin. Hey, Crazy Calvin. I don't, What's I, up? I don't, I don't take kindly to jokes here. Hey, well, at least you have someone who actually uh, is talking to you now instead of not answering. That's true. Here, you, you should you should talk to them if they pick up. All right. It's all yours. What are we doing again? I don't know. It's the same guy. Just just tell him to tell him to eat a brick. I don't know. All right, I got a good one. Well, it's hello. Hello, this is Reverend Roy from the Church of the Jemima's Witnesses. You fucked it up. You blew it. Yep. You blew it, Crazy <laughs> Calvin. God damn it. Oh, no. Don't ever call again. <laughs> I like how someone in the chat room's like, how is he talking to a voicemail? That's weird. Okay, so a person picked up. I've been on the air for 42 minutes now, and a person picked up. That's pretty great. At this point, we have a hobo sewed I can make. I mean, we had two people pick up, but that other guy doesn't count because he didn't do anything. Damn it, True Green was supposed to be like a warm-up. I was just going to do a True Green call or two. Start doing time capsule calls. Hello? Hello, Thomas? Yes. This is... John, I'm with the city of Hamden. You're with what? The city of Hamden. Can you hear me? Where are you at? I'm down in the Keys. In the Keys? Yeah, I'm working down in the Keys. In the Keys? Like the, the like way down there, like yeah, below the Keys, U.S.? Like Key West. Yeah, I'm a big pine key. Oh, la-di-da. Okay, so, yeah, there's a problem with your house here in Hamden. What's wrong with it? 
Um, well, it's just that we're trying to lift it up because there's a time capsule underneath it. I'm sure they told you this when they sold you the house. Oh, uh, yeah? And we're trying to lift it up. It's really loud there. Why do you have to be in such a loud place? You're trying to lift my house up? Yeah, we tried to lift your house up, but um, half of it fell down. We didn't have the thing in right. Because the time capsule... Where is this house? On, on Where is the house located? On Highland Avenue? Oh, uh, that's not my house. Oh, crud. Whose house is that? It's my friend's house. Oh. You're, is... trying, to lift, you're trying to lift his house up? Yeah, well, we lifted half of it up. But then yeah. the, the other half, it uh, we we didn't have it hooked up right. We forgot to put the the little the brace thing in there, and it, it just it just fell down. So half of the house is lifted up. I think it's okay because we can still get under to um, get the time capsule out. You want to lift the other house up? No, I think we can do it with just this half. So why is it so loud there? Where are you at? I'm at a little restaurant down here. Okay. What do you want me to do? I'm just letting you know. We lifted up your house, and only half of it, we were only able to keep half of it up. The other half fell down. Yeah. Can you just cover the receiver? Can you just cover the receiver and be like, shh, really loud? What's that? Nothing. What do you want me to do? Tell everyone to shut up. Because I can barely hear you. Uh, so what are you going to do with the house? I'm having a hard time concentrating. Oh, well, that's good. So now you lifted my house up and half of it fell down or something. Are you trying to tell me? Yeah, half of it just slammed down to the ground. It's fine, though. But we're going we're gonna to finish right. lifting up the front half, though. And we're going to yeah. um, we're gonna, you know, unbury the time capsule. It's about 20 feet underground. Yeah. And then we will set the rest of your house back down. Okay, sounds good. Okay. All right. Have a good day. I don't think this... What, what were you... What? On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this prank call? I rate it as pretty stupid. Shit. That's not a number, but what is that, like a 1 then? I don't know, man. You're really kind of wasting my time, buddy. All right. I got I, your number. I'll I'm, look you up sometime. I'm not your buddy, pal. You're not? No. Don't call me buddy, okay. Chief. I'll call you whatever I want. Shut the fuck up, you idiot. What? <laughs> well, that was worth it for him to tell me to shut the fuck up. So I don't know. Should I keep up with these numbers? I'm kind of bored with this, to be honest. The, the, like, the whole living situation here is all weird. I don't get it. They live on campus or something? What the hell? Oh, here's another guy with with the same address as that other guy on Main Street. Exact same address, so it's like a it's like a teacher house. I see several of them in here. So I can't I definitely can't do calls where they're um you know, with their lawns. Oh, well, some of them anyway. I've got another plan though. I'm going to I'm going to find another list. Give me a second. I'll be back in just a minute. We're so sorry. Okay, plan number two. Got everything figured out here. I got this uh, request. I, I guess we're not going to do time capsule calls anymore. Thanks to that dumb list that um, Pyro sent over. That's weird academy numbers. Uh, so this next list, it is from Slug Powder. This is basically, I'm going to be copying exactly what um, 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 XYZ did last week. I'm going to call up a uh, every store in a mall. I'm not going to tell them to be quiet, though, because that, that would be total copying. Well, maybe I will a few times. But um, Slug Powder, back in November of 2017, he sent me a list of a, uh, of a mall. It's, it's like all the stores in a mall. Basically, he just sent me their website. But it's got, it's got a map here. I can search the map. I can see exactly which stores are around it. Like this first one here, I guess I'm going to call, is American Eagle Outfitters. And uh, they're right across the hall from Urban Outfitters. 
I don't know. Should I tell him to stop giving me fucking snake eyes or something? Are they related somehow? Thank you for calling American Eagle. Accuse them of leaving upper deckers in the men's restroom. Okay, Jim Bob. America Egram, this is Lydia. May I help you? Hey, Lydia. Uh, this is Chad over at Urban Outfitters across from you. Oh, hi. Do you see me? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, no, I can't. I can't. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, but you can't see me over here? I'm on the phone. I'm the guy uh, on the phone. Uh, you are inside your store? Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, I'm the one you're always looking at. I can't see you. Okay, well, anyway, I want you to stop looking over here all the time and stop giving me those snake eyes. Because, like, I'm just over here trying to do my job, and you're just always looking over here, just looking at me. Who are you? Who you are? This is Chad. And, and, and it's you. I know it's you, Lindsay. You keep, like, just looking over here and giving me snake eyes. And I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. It. I never look to the Uber and uh, me... Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You do all the time. You're always looking over here. Every time I look up from my work, you're just like over there staring at me. You're giving me those do you eyes. Know who you, do, do you know who you're talking to? Yeah, this is Lindsay, right? No, that's not Lindsay. That's Lydian. I'm sorry. L- L- I mean, same I thing. No- same thing. It's a dumb, dumb L name. Uh, can you just repeat what you talking to me about? Well, I know it's you because I can see you on the phone, and you're the one that's always looking over here at me. You're just always staring. I don't know if you have a crush on me or if you hate me. Just, just please stop. Come on, I'm trying to do my job. Please, Hello? Lydia. Hello. Who's this? Who's this? Okay. Oh, she put someone else on the phone. So now I should call Urban Outfitters. Oh, cool. I can click on the map and it gives me the phone number. Oh, this is perfect. I can just go through the mall and call every single store in it. Level by... (laughs) I can do the upper level and then the lower level. This is great. This is amazing. So now I've clicked on Urban Outfitters. I guess I'm just... Calling Urban Outfitters in first store location. I'm going to do the exact same thing to this one. And if all goes well... Lydia and whoever I talk to next will come out and have a fist fight with Thanks each other. Thanks for calling Urban Outfitters. How may I help you? Hey, who's this? Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine. Yeah, that, you're the one. Like, So I, I'm over here at American Eagle Outfitters. Do you see me? Um, no. Okay, I'm the one on the phone. See me? See no, me? I don't Are see you. you. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Like, every time... I'm, I'm just over here trying to do my job, and I keep looking up, and you are always over there just looking at me. And oh, okay. I don't know what your problem is. Yeah. You're giving me snake eyes. Yeah. Like, we're not supposed to be competitors, really. You know, we should just be able to coexist, yeah. like, like, you know, mature business people, retail people. Yeah, I get it. Can you just kind of stop, you know? I shouldn't have to feel intimidated just to work here. Hello? Yeah, I totally agree, Jim Bob. Jasmine, that's a stripper name. That's like her secondary job. I thought she hung up, but it hasn't hung up. Okay, there it goes. Wow, I love this map thing. Thanks, slug powder. And you know what? These people are going to answer. They'll definitely answer. So next is Athleta. I didn't say Alexa. I said Athleta. God damn it, Alexa. I don't know what Athleta is. It doesn't really tell me what it is. I don't know what Urban Outfitters is either. Is that like the same type of store? Is this like a whole wing of just... Just, just, I don't know. What is it? Sportswear or something? (laughs) What's Athleta, everyone? Thank you for calling Athleta. This is Ellen. I can help you. Hey, Ellen, this is Steve Dave from the mall office. Hi. Hi. Um, Someone in your store, it's a female, it might have been you, um, they went into the restroom and they did an upper decker. A what? Uh, Like over in the food court area, they did an upper decker in the restroom and I just needed to let you know that we do know it was someone from your store and you can't be doing that. Uh, How do you... uh, Okay. So, was it you? It wasn't me. 
Okay. I, we have a restroom in our store, so we typically just use that. Well, is that why you went to the to the food court restroom to do the upper decker? Because that's disgusting. You know, someone has to clean that up. I'm not sure. I apologize. I don't know who did that. I know it wasn't me, but um, um, I, I can. Just so you know, like th- this is you know this is the mall office. We have a voice stress analyzer hooked up to the line, and it's showing me right now that you're lying to me. So it's fine if you did it. Just can you not do it again, though? Absolutely, you got it. Okay, because you know we it's just just not cool. You know, someone's got to clean that up. Okay, I apologize. It's gross. Um, you, you how should... do you know that someone from my store was the one that did that? Because the the maintenance lady like followed you from the bathroom. They they knew that you did it. They could hear you in there doing it, and and she followed you. She saw that you had the uniform on and followed you back to the store. We don't wear uniform. The name tag, though. I'm not wearing a name tag. The stupid hairstyle that people there wear. You know, whatever. She followed you to the store, okay? Okay, I apologize. Okay. Are you going to do it again? I'm not going to do it again. Okay, do you promise? I promise. Because, you know, you you wouldn't do that if you had to clean it up. You you don't do it in your own bathroom, I hope. Nope. Yep, you just just go to other bathrooms and do it. Okay, thanks. All right, you're welcome. (laughs) She's there. She's thanking me for for the accusation. That's great. Uh, Echo. I mean, ECCO. What's an ECCO? Here, there's View view Details. It's a leading global brand for high-quality footwear and premium leather goods. And it took me off of the map page. That sucks. Ah, crap. Now i got to zoom back in. And I don't know where I was. Oh, upper level. Okay, here we go. Gotta make sure not to do that again. Premium footwear. What am I saying to the next person? Shoes from space. Space shoes. I don't know. Should I beam microwaves at their store from the Chinese government? They are on the upper level. There's a great data echo card speaking to help you. Hey, Carlos. This is um, Roy from the mall office. Hi. Hey, I needed to let you know. Uh, that the International Space Station, they're going to be beaming microwaves at your store for the next three hours as they pass overhead. Uh, I'm sorry, what are they going to be doing again? They're going to be beaming high-powered microwaves directly at your location. You know, like oh, yeah, your, yeah. your, your store is kind of rectangle-shaped, kind of L-shaped. Yeah. They're going to be beaming microwaves at every inch of your store, like high-powered microwave beams. And it's going to be really loud. I don't know what that is, oh, really. Yeah. Okay, so like everything metal in your store, you know, like all the metal stuff, like shelving and and yeah. electrical outlets and stuff like that. Your cash register, um, it's it's gonna it's like gonna resonate at a cer- certain frequency. Basically, everything's gonna start shrieking like it's dying. Oh, and this have to be done today. Yeah. Yep. It's gonna uh, start here in just a minute. It's for the Chinese government. It's like okay. a, it's it's happening like they're beaming them down from the International Space Station. Got it. And you know how they have Chinese people on the space station? Yeah, yeah. It's an experiment that they're doing. We've we've told them that that they're allowed to, and okay. they're they're only going to do it at your store. So if it gets to be too much, you might want to just step out of your store. But why just in my store? Uh, it's just, we figured it'd be, you know, we just wanted, your store was on the upper level and it's the right size and there's no air conditioning units in the way on that part of the roof. So it's just going to make everything in your store that's metal. It's going to start vibrating and shrieking like it's dying. It's going to sound like hell, basically. That's crazy, but like why we was informed this like a couple of minutes before they started, no way before, w- and then Saturday busy with customers inside. Yeah, we figured you'd say no. Um, do you guys have like chocolate or anything in there? Chocolate candy bars? Uh, three Musketeers? I don't, I don't think so. Okay, because uh, anything chocolate is going to melt. Chocolate, like uh, everything. That doesn't, that doesn't sound very safe. I don't think I'm very comfortable with that. I don't no, it's think just, uh, it's just candy bars. Uh, I, I'll prefer I'll prefer to if you contact my boss and see what she say. Well, no, we can't stop it now. Like it, it's this is all set in motion. The International Space St- Station is right, a- and approaching and what's your, the horizon. What's your name again? My name is Roy. I'm with the mall office. 
Okay, for the future, uh, we really appreciate like some like heads up, like as I can like this. It's really not. Um. Well, they're and probably for not. Long, for how long are they gonna go? About three hours. Only three hours. So not. Only three hours. Maybe two and a half. It just depends on uh, the the cloud cover and weather and stuff like that. And what exactly they're gonna do? They're gonna like um. You know microwaves what? like no r- radio micro- waves. Micro what? Microwaves, like micro. micro- w- okay. Like high-powered microwaves, like just beaming down, like you know, like and and it's gonna be like in the exact shape of your store, right but on top of the roof. It, what I don't understand, it's something such a big thing that it's gonna be three hours that Echo Corporate didn't get any information about it. To oh, they would have said no. No, this is just a mall thing. This is just what us here at the mall we're doing it. But, you know, they're paying us money to do it. They pay you money to do it. That's what you're doing in my store. Yeah, it's just, you know, your store is just in the right and if, position. And, and, and if I say no, that doesn't really matter. Well, no, it's too late. Like, it's going to start any second. Everything metal is right. going to start vibrating I, and shrieking. If we lose any business, we're going to have to talk about the rent for the day, correct? Uh, I don't know about that. You'll have to talk to the mall office well, lady. She's you, not you here guys, on Saturday. You, I mean, you guys didn't ask for permission, first of all, and that's like a very short notice. Yeah, but it's going to be like, it, you'll probably get more business because people are going to be like, what's that noise? Like, uh, it sounds like everything's shrieking, like it's dying in there. No, that doesn't sound and very cool. In the, in you the, in the days and times that we go in, man, that not sounds good for business. <laughs> well, you don't own the building. All right, let me. You don't own the let building. Me, all right, let but, me let me call my boss and let her know. Okay. Well, hey, um, you might want to post someone at the door and ask everyone to like if they have candy bars, not to bring them inside because they're going to melt in their pockets and make a mess. That's a and joke. If they have sodas, oh do they have sodas? Is do you have like liquids I'm sure in there? They do. Okay, yeah. do you, you shouldn't let them bring sodas in in the first place because that's just good business. But uh, sodas, they're going to start bubbling, like boiling. Okay. So, like, if you have any liquids in there, like, do you have a drink in there? Um, coffee. Uh, can you look in it? Is it is it, like, starting to bubble or boil or anything? Uh, none that I can see, no. Okay, um, do you happen to know what your sperm count is right now? I have no idea. Okay. Well, Hi, how are you folks doing today? All right, I have a few people and I gotta go. Okay. I'll let my boss know, okay? Can you put the customers on? We'll let them know. We'll help you out. We'll, call, we'll talk to the customers if you just put them on the phone. I'm not gonna put my customers on the phone. Why not? No, I, I really gotta go. I have customers. Okay, well, when everything starts shrieking like it's dying, <laughs> uh, you'll, okay. you'll know it started and, and to. Right. Any particular shoes you folks look Cover your today? balls. Oh, okay. With your hands. Okay. I gotta go. Okay, okay bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Wow, he believed all of that. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Uh, someone was telling me to say, like, all the shoes are going to start <laughs> start dancing by themselves. This Cisco kid wants me to say the shoelaces will start to ember. <laughs> uh, next is a store called Lush. They're right across from Echo. Or, no, let's do the chocolate. Oh, the chocolate company. I, I kind of want to do the microwave thing at the chocolate company. Because, you know, all the chocolate's going to melt. Ceiling tiles will shake. <laughs> I don't know. Should I really do this again? I, I'm not going to get another person. Thanks for calling Lynn. This is Mike Stiggins. How can I help you? Hey there. Uh, this is Roy from the mall office here. Yes. And I needed to let you know, uh, we've set up this deal with the International Space Station. You know that space station thing that's up in space? Can you hear me? I'm not sure what to say. Okay, no, I'm Are sorry. Me I, if I know what a space station is. Yeah, I just I'm not sure. I don't know you. I'm I'm just so we've set up a deal with them. They're going to be beaming microwaves down at your store. They're going to start here in just a minute. It's just going to be your store and Echo next door. Yeah. And um, it's going to make it's uh, it's just going to be high powered. Is, is this like a joke or? No, I wouldn't joke like, about something you're like thinking this. Thinking this is funny. No, it's not a joke, sir. Uh, this is yeah. Roy from the mall office. What's your name? You you should go to next door. Talk to Echo. He knows it's not a joke. Okay. He knows. So is that is that it? Is that you've had your time or? Yeah, pretty much. I wasn't finished, but uh, if you're not going to listen, if you're just going to take this whole thing as a joke, then no, no, I'm why, why, why should I even it's finish? Really funny. Good stuff. Thank you. I tried. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate this joke? One. 
One to ten. I, I, I'd probably choose not to rate it, to be honest with you. Ah, fuck. Okay, whatever. I can tell you, I can tell you think you're funny, and that's fantastic, man. That's, you should be proud of yourself. Thank you. You I should be really it. proud of yourself. I appreciate it. You know, i got to do something. I, I, I'm getting bored here in the security office. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. No, well, you're the man. You're I'm gonna, the man. I'm going to call Lush now. You, you should, like, look across the hall. Can yeah, you, can oh, yeah. You see? I'll be looking. Yeah, I'll okay. be definitely yeah, looking. Watch her, yeah, watch her pick up the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'll be looking, dude. Okay, and, and watch how distressed they look. Oh, great. Thanks. I appreciate <laughs> it, man. Thanks. <laughs> That'll be the look yeah, at, no, the distressed look on no, their thanks. face you're will funny. be their rating. Oh, yeah, the yeah, no, you're a funny guy. Thanks. I okay, appreciate it. Thanks, honey, honey, baby, sweetie pie. Bye. Hey, can you tell me if this. Jeez. Okay, so um, next to her we've got Kiehl's. Kiehl's since 1851. Kiehl's, our products, are made utilizing the finest ingredients known to us in our unique formulations to assure a high a skin and hair body care. Customers, blah, blah, blah. I bet they used to put radon in their materials since 1851. Or what's that shit, that radioactive shit they used to put in skincare products? This company's probably killed so many people in the past. Um, okay, so chat room. What am I doing that does not involve microwave beams? I can't call a hot topic, Jim Bob. I, I can't. I can't just like leave the area. I've got to. I'm. I'm just going around store by store, calling up everything. Oh, that's great. I. I regret jumping. <laughs> if there's a popcorn place, all the popcorn is going to pop. Okay, uh, McScat wants me to say that Carrot Top is coming in. He needs some skincare products. Have you seen him lately? Holy shit. Thank you for calling Kiehl's. This is Monica speaking. Hey, Monica. This is Roy from the mall office. Oh, hi. How are you? Hey, pretty good. How are you doing today? I'm good. That's what good can I to hear. You? Um, so Carrot Top is in the mall right now. You know the, the famous actor, comedian Carrot Top? Oh, what's World her name? Renowned Carrot Top. Carrot Top. Do, do you, oh, okay. Do you know who Carrot Top is? He does a no, show. No, I have no idea because I don't watch that, but you I'm sure that my team knows. Oh, I, can, I can tell them. Are, are you a manager? I'm the assistant. Ah. The assistant okay. manager. It'd be better if we had someone who knew who Carrot Top was. Okay. Like, can I you can ask have. your employees real quick? Just like, do you know who Carrot Top is? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Because okay. we have so, to make sure, like, um, you got to pre- at least pretend because he's coming in your store. He's here just to come to your store. Oh, really? Yep. yep. Okay. All right, hold on, okay, let me ask. Okay. Carrot Top's practicing foreign languages. Everyone needs to speak German. That's what oh. almost Henrik yeah, says. Yeah, he's coming. Like he's coming. Yeah. So they sold the mall on office. The people in the mall. They just want us to know. I really don't know who he is. Maybe if I see the face, I would know, but I don't. Uh, so, uh, this isn't a prank. So, no, no, no. It's a prank. And it's insane. Yeah, so he's so well disguised. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Okay. So he's coming in. Can you pull him up? I don't know. They're all excited. So, well, that, that's it. Hello. Hi, who's this? Yeah, so uh, they know. Okay, great. They know who he is. So, yeah, it's just you that, yep. like, doesn't know who Carrot Top is. Yeah. Maybe she get with the times. Yeah, well, it, maybe if I see his face, I know, but I don't know. I'm not, I don't really keep up with stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it's so. hard to figure out his face. Um, he's really into skincare, though. Uh, he's down in the parking lot right now, though. Um, he's getting ready to come up, and he's going to have a large entourage with him. Mm-hmm. He, okay. He's gonna have at least uh, at least fifty people with him. Does your store hold? I know it's a small store. Do you, does your store? Yeah, it's hold, a small store. Does your store hold fifty people? No. <laughs> um, man, is there Not a lot 50 of cu- people? Is there a lot of customers in there right now? Uh, we have a couple. Yeah. Okay, you may need to ask yeah. them all to leave because you know he he doesn't want to be crowded for autographs and stuff. Okay. Uh, all do, right. Do you? I would talk to my store manager and because she is working with some of the customers, so okay. it's hard to like be like oh you know do you but I, I let her know do you or your employees speak german no he's a method actor he's in a german movie right now he's only speaking german so you may oh, ha- he does yeah you, well no he speaks english but 
he, yeah. it's just his thing. He's he's like trying to be an I don't know Andy Kaufman or uh, whatever. He's he just only speaks German right now. Okay. Just just today, like today, he only oh, speaks wow. German. Uh, he's going to be okay. using like he does a lot of props. He, he uses mm-hmm. he's going to be grabbing stuff off of the shelves and just making wacky jokes with him and throwing him over his shoulder like he doesn't care. Yep, yep. But he's basically going to come in there and just destroy the store. Okay. But well, it, thank you for letting us know because I'm then I had to let them know, let everybody know. Yeah, let them know he's going to come in. <laughs> he's okay. going to come in and destroy the store. He's only going to speak German. Um, yeah, that's going to be tough because none of us speak German. So. Well, he'll probably pretend. I don't know. I don't get this guy. I don't understand. I don't like him myself. No, you don't? Nope. Nope. <gasps> don't, don't tell him I said that, though, and pretend that no, you like him. No, of course him. not. <laughs> pretend that, like, if he asks what your favorite movie is, say Chairman of the Board with Car- starring Carrot Top from the 1990s because okay. that's his big movie. That's, like, what everyone knows him from. Okay, I wish I would definitely go and do some research right now. Um, yeah, and and maybe do some German to English translation stuff. Get that pulled up on your phone and ready. Okay, all right. That sounds like a good idea. Um, are there kids in the store? Um, just one, but they're leaving. Okay, well, um, he'll probably want the kid to sit on his lap. That's his thing. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Yeah, but it's, it's nothing weird. It's just he likes to have kids sit on his lap, and he pretends to be Santa Claus, but he'll he'll be like <laughs> a German okay. Santa Claus. I said it, Nikki D. Are you happy? All right, we'd be aware. Yeah, uh, and do okay. you take euros there? Okay. Do you take euros like as payment instead of English money? No, we no, we don't. We take credit cards. Do you take Hawaiian money? Hawaiian credit cards? Uh, I don't know. I don't really know if we do. We never had one. Like Hawaiian before, currency? But like what about Hawaiian just cash? Do you take Hawaiian cash? Oh, cash? No, you, we only take U.S. But what about Hawaiian cash? Hawaiian cash? I don't think so, because we never even had any here before. Yeah, but it's Hawaiian cash. It should work just as well as... But Hawaiian cash is this still... I've never seen it before, so I don't, I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, well, it basically looks exactly like um, U.S. English American cash, because, you know, Hawaii is part of America. Oh, uh, then we must take it, then. I would think. Yeah, i just never seen one before. I thought they were the, all the same cash. It is. Um, Carrot Top does this thing where he punch, punches holes in the wall. Do you have like drywall walls or do you have like that wooden shelving stuff up? Mm, he's going to no. punch, he's going to try and punch holes in the wall. He's like a really buff guy. Mm, he's not going to punch the wall here. Oh yeah, he will. Yeah. He absolutely will. Well, I'm trying will. to make sure he's not going to. <laughs> yeah, but he will. He, he, he does what he wants. He's like really famous person okay so he's gonna punch the walls that's what he does it's part of his act hmm okay so he will be punching walls he will be destroying merchandise this is a joke this sounds like a joke <laughs> no i wouldn't joke about this this is roy from the mall office ma'am yeah well maybe you should come up here uh no and i can't because to my store manager. i've got to help with the security side of um getting carrot top up up there to your store without incident mm-hmm. and and it looks like he's coming in the door right now i gotta get going but just be okay. prepared for an entourage of 50 people. There's going to be uh, television cameras following him. Okay. And it's Wait, what's your name again? Uh, this is Roy Gerbel. I'm from the mall Roy. office. Okay. I don't remember hearing your name before. I thought it was just Scott. Yep. Scott doesn't work on Saturdays. But, yep. Uh, he's, he's on his way. He's coming in the door right now. So I've got to get him up there. So, okay. so just get All ready. Right. Get ready. Get everyone ready. Okay. All right. Thank All you right. so much. Thanks. Goodbye. Oh, she was she, she was starting to get suspicious. You remember the lint chocolate guy that didn't believe anything I said? Um, I want I want to just ask him if anyone looks uh, distressed about microwave beams because she was across from him too. Oh, come on, come on! I'm trying to have a conversation with you. I need to ask questions, sir. Hey, let me ask you something, man. How do you feel about suicide? Don't be, don't be immature. Then that's not How cool. How do you feel about that? Because we, all the stores have taken a poll, and we all agree that you should probably kill yourself. No, not not yet. I've got, I mean, I've got work to do. Your parents must hate you, dude. Your parents obviously I've, are I've very embarrassed of you. 
I need yeah, to ask you questions. Shit, stop stop making me feel bad about, about myself. No, how about this? I'll let you ask me as many questions as you want. All right. If you promise to kill yourself. Okay. It's, <laughs> you I will, promise? Can yeah. you walk into my store and shake my hand? I'll let you ask as many questions as you no, want. No, I'll do it while we're on the phone still. But you just have to like dump off a bridge, and I just need to see it. It's how, because it's going to make me feel so How many? How, how am I going to come it. in your store and jump off a bridge? I don't know. Maybe you can jump off the space station and, and ride a microwave down. How about that? <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah, dude, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so, so listen. So you're going to kill yourself, and you agree that you're like a piece of shit, right? Look, look did the people you from agree Lush... You that you really deserve to breathe the <laughs> did same the people, oxygen as everyone else? Did the people from Lush come don't over? Do you agree with that, yes or no? Uh, okay, so you're in Lint Chocolate, correct? Do you agree with that, yes or no? You're in Lint Chocolate, oh, you and you're telling customers to kill themselves. Ask you questions. Oh, okay. Okay, have a good one, buddy. Okay. I'm going to kill so myself. So, are we agreement? Yes, You're just yes. going to end it, right? I will end it right now. Awesome. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate I just had it. some questions. Point. I don't know why you have to be like this. So, that was Lint Chocolate at the um, mall. <laughs> Careful if you go in there. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. I just wanted to ask him, like, what, what's the, what's it look like around there? I did tell Lush to go over and talk to him, so maybe he's talking to other people now. He probably pees in the chocolate. Okay, Team Spirit. I wish I could look at these stores, you know? I wish, like, there was a street view inside the mall. That's what Google needs to do. They need street view inside the mall. We're going to call Team Spirit. Anybody remember his name? <laughs> Father John wants me to say that Kurt Cobain is coming in. You have reached 7, 8. Get ready for that. So the place next to the chocolate place is not picking up their phone for some reason. They've probably uh, been told not to, maybe. Oh, I get it, because it's called Team Spirit. Okay. Plankton, how can I help you today? Hey, is this... I'm sorry, is this Banana Republic? Yep, how can I help oh, you? Oh, it's Broski from uh, Lint Chocolate. I, I work here in the store. It's kind of connected to your store, you know? Okay. Uh, it's, you know, in the back, just that small corner. And, like, look, we can hear you through the wall. Do you think you could just keep it down a little bit? What are you talking about? You guys are being loud in there. And it's... Who, who this, is this? Uh, I'm from the Lint Chocolate. It's around the corner on the other side of Team Spirit, but our walls are connected. Okay. So I, I can hear everything every day that's going on in there, and it, it's just like, it, I'm I'm just sick of it, you know? Can, okay, I can't help you. you got to contact them all. Well, Sorry. can you just be quieter? I, we, we're running a retail store. I know, but you're being loud about it. Why don't you calm, calm the fuck down and, you know, t use your inside voice. Thank you for calling. Have a good day. Just be quieter. <laughs> Lint chocolate away. All right. I don't know. Maybe I should start um, just being more selective because I'm not going to be on forever, you know. It's getting late. How long have I been on? I've been on for like uh, an hour and 40 minutes now. That's crazy. Can't just sit here and do a show all day. Here's the Lego store. We got a Lego store, you guys. Thank you for calling Lego. And this is David. How may I help you? Hey, David, this is Roy from the mall office. Yeah. And um, we've had several complaints now from customers yeah. saying that you need to pick up your goddamn toys. They keep stepping on your Legos. Wow. So do you think you could keep those off the floor? Um, well, I mean, we, we go through and, and we sweep up every day. Um, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that you would use that language. Oh, um, no, it's not us, me. It's, it. it's not me. I'm sorry. It's not uh -uh. me. It's the customers that are saying that I'm just repeating what they said. Well, right, and I mean, I can understand that, but I mean, there, you being the professional should probably have a little bit of a, of a better tone of, of kind of trans, you know, transferring that information to us. But we go through, we sweep up everything, um, you know, at pretty much every, about every 15 minutes, we go out there with a broom and, and sweep up anything that's, you know, kind of falling on the floor that no one else is picking up as they're making the mess themselves, but yeah, but it gets, yeah, it we, gets, we go through and we it, do that every, about every 15, 20 minutes. It gets tracked out into the mall though, and like it ends up in other stores. They just want you to pick up your goddamn toys. Well, like maybe just well, and once again, okay, you're you're from the mall. You're from mall management. Yeah. 
And, and you're using that language with me? That's, it's that's, not that's me. Kind of it's not me using the language. It's the customers. I'm repeating. I'm well, passing right, along but again, the message. But again, and once again, though, I've explained to you that, that you, you repeating that is, is a bit offensive to me. Thank you, actually. Okay, well, you, know, um, you, so, you don't have to talk to me like that. I, I'm basically your boss. You're, you're just like one of our, our tenants here, and you don't need to be like that to me. God well, I, I actually I, I feel like I'm I'm actually being pretty pretty uh, pretty nice considering you're you're talking to me like that. No, I'm, I'm not, not just, talking I'm to you like that. You're, you're, I'm repeating what the customer said. Please pick up your goddamn toys, and like because they're stepping on Legos, and you know what that's like. You step on Legos, it hurts your feet. Uh, yeah. So you know, like in your Lego store, you should know that. So maybe keep your goddamn toys picked up. You're the one making a mess. And you said your name is Roy? Yeah, yeah, I work under Scott. Okay. Well, uh, we'll, we'll, do our, we'll do our best. Okay. May, may, well, have you been doing your best? Maybe you should do better than your best? Maybe you should hire someone else just to keep the goddamn toys picked up? Are you sure you work for the mall? Yeah, I'm quite sure, sir. Okay. And you said your boss's name is Scott? Well, I, I yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I work with Scott. I wouldn't call him my boss. Okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll be I'll be sure to pass the message along to our staff. Make sure that happens, and I'll I'll make sure to reach out to Scott and have a conversation with him. Okay. All right. Yeah, he'll you, he'll sir. tell you the same thing to pick up your goddamn toys. Okay. Well, I, I I'm sure you know he well, might he might even say it a little bit nicer, but yeah, we'll see. But yeah, that, that that's cool. I'll give him a call, and I'll. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been like an ongoing problem ever since you guys have been here. And if you're going to talk to your employees, make sure you tell them to pick up their goddamn toys. Okay. All right. I appreciate the call. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too, the Mr. same. Mr. Attitude. Yeah. I think I'm going to call Lint Chocolate back now. No, I'm kidding. He makes me feel bad about myself. I don't need that. You guys don't want me to kill myself. Hey, here's a, micro a Microsoft store. Like, do they have an Apple store? Like... I want to call and Sam with the Apple Store and good job copying us. Yep, there's Apple Store. Uh, they're just a little ways down the hall on the opposite end. <laughs> call, call Lint Chocolate with my Thank voice. Thank you for machine. calling the Microsoft Store. <laughs> That's tempting. To help us to improve the quality of our products, services, and training, this call may be recorded or monitored, and information collected on this call may be transferred to other countries. What? <laughs> you have an exciting new way to schedule appointments. Just call Check in the store mall. hours, get technical support, and connect with store agents right from the screen of your smartphone. To get started, we'll need to send you a text message. What the hell? If you'd like us to send that text message, I'm just trying to, to call the store. Phone, this is one. This is, a, this is just two. like a Microsoft product. Oh wait, what did she say? Hit zero. Oh, sorry, that wasn't one of Fuck. the options. If you'd like us to send that text message to your smartphone, no. press 1. Otherwise, press 2. 2. Okay. Let's continue to the main menu. For store hours and location information, The Apple press Store one. doesn't do this shit. For questions before you buy or to purchase a product from Microsoft Store, press 2. To schedule or change an in-store appointment, press 3. To check on a repair or a service order, press 4. For technical support, press 5. I can't just talk to the store. I'm, like, connected I to... I didn't get that. Wow, okay. For Never mind. You win, Microsoft. Let's see how easy it is to call the Apple Store. Thanks for calling Apple... Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. Watch them be I'm even worse. I'm an automated system that can handle complete sentences. How can I help you today? Talk to a representative inside the store so I can ask about a product that's in there. I just want to talk to an employee, not a system thingy. Please, thank you. I can transfer you to a specialist. It but works. To make sure I route your call Fuck. correctly, please tell me the reason for your call. Uh, return something. Okay. Please tell me if you're calling about a purchase made in the Holy store shit. or through the online store on Apple.com. In the store. Please hold while I transfer you to someone who can help with your return questions. Good afternoon for calling Apple. This is Sandra. How can I help you? Hey, Sandra. Is this the Apple in the, in the mall? 
This is actually the Apple online store, but I'm affiliated with all of the Apple stores. How can I help you? You're the what store? The Apple online store. Oh, the online store. I just wanted to talk to the store in the mall. What the hell? I can't just call and talk to the mall? Okay, what's going on, sir? I want to talk to the mall. I want to talk to the people in the mall. Okay, in order for me to get you transferred, I mm -hmm. need to know what's going on so I can get you transferred. So, okay, I, I work at um, the Victoria's Secret that's directly across from the Apple Store. I'm here in the mall, too. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's this really cute girl that works at the counter, and I want to talk to her. So can you transfer me to the... <laughs> It's not that funny. She's not totally out of my league. I think I have a shot. No, I don't work in the store, so I wouldn't even know who you're talking to. But you know I what? Dialed. That was that just caught me out of surprise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess. I don't. I dialed the number though. I dialed the local mall store number. Yes. Um, what happens <laughs> is when you call the store, um, you get routed to one of us. Yeah, and, that's um, lame. I'll transfer you over to the store. So, oh, okay. Thank you so, so you much. Can, so you can ask for that cute employee, okay? Yeah, I will. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. It's taking long enough. <laughs> I can't believe she did it. It's probably not going to work. It's going to be the automated really? system. Oh, Hello? Hi there, how are you? Hey, cutie. Um, this is Steve over at the Microsoft store. You know, down oh, hi. Down, down the hall a little bit. <laughs> how you doing? Pretty good. Hey, I wanted to let you know we've had record sales today, um, and we noticed that your store is pretty empty, so I think it's obvious who's going to be here in another couple years and who's not going to be. I'm sorry? We, we've had record sales this week. Like today, we've been so, we've just been swamped. Here at the Microsoft store, you know, we're we're like we're yeah. we're across the hall from you, but like down a little ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're our business is doing good, but we noticed that yours is kind of like lagging. Like there's not a lot of people in there hanging out, looking at things. Uh, are you talking about customers? Yeah, customers. Yeah, have you uh, have you forgotten no, what a customer we're is? Busy. Huh? We're pretty busy. Yeah, but not as busy as us. I mean, we've been swamped. We've sold so much shit today. And you guys probably haven't sold much at all, so I think it's clear who the winner is here. Didn't know it was a competition. Oh, it kind of is. It always has been. Microsoft versus Apple. And I'd say Microsoft is winning. What is your name? Uh, my name is Roy. Roy? Yep. Okay. And you know what? I like my my friend thinks that you're cute, but I'm like, nope. I would never ask the enemy out, so I'm not even gonna ask you out. Right. Not interested. Sorry. Okay. Because like I'm, I I don't know if you guys work on commission. I do though. You're you're probably poor though, since your business is failing. Right. So you know, Microsoft forever. Do you use Apple products or do you use Microsoft products, like in your personal life? Uh, Apple. Mm, yep. You may you may want to start upgrading everything to Microsoft because I doubt Apple's going to be around much longer. What do you Is think? Is there anything else I can help you with? What do you think about like maybe jumping ship and joining our team over here? We we uh you know we we pay better and we have more sales. More sales than Apple. And our products don't suck. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, not really. I just, but you didn't answer the question. Like, you know, I, I can bring an application over if you want. I'll, br I'll bring one over. You could fill it out. I'll bring it back to my manager. I'm okay. Thank you, though. Okay. But, I mean, isn't it depressing to work there? It's like you hardly ever have any customers or anything, and, and nobody buys Apple anymore. Uh, okay. That wasn't a okay question. That's like, you know, like yes or no, or... That, that didn't seem like a question to me. It was a question. It's like, isn't it depressing to work over there? Like, nobody, nobody shops at Apple anymore. 
I bet you don't even use Bing when, whenever you search for something online. You don't, you don't use Bing.com because you're just so out of touch, you Apple people. Everybody uses Bing now. Nobody uses Bing, but okay. Everybody uses um, Bing. Hey, what's that noise I keep hearing in the background? It sounds like something from the 90s. Is that one of your iPhones? Anything else, Roy? Uh, Bing is king. That's what everyone says. Bing is king. That's what Johnny Lemon says, anyway. You should install the Bing app on your, your, your crapple iPhone. Is there someone else there I could talk to? Uh, in order to what? I don't know, to berate them? No. All right. How come it sounds so quiet over there? I thought you were really busy. Because I'm in the back? Yep, a likely excuse. It seems like I'd still hear the customers, even if you're in the right. back. It's not that big of a store. Okay, well, Roy, um, I'm glad that you um, are doing well. Um, I'm going to go. You. I hope you have a good weekend. Thanks, you too. I'll have a better weekend Bye. than you because my sales have been awesome. And I know they're going <laughs> to... It would have been funnier to do it the other way around, talk to the Microsoft store, and yell at them for copying our business model. Oh, yeah, someone in the chat room said that Steve Jobs could kick um, Bill Gates' ass, but I forgot to say that. Oh, well. I hope the lady that transferred me sat there and listened <laughs> to the whole thing. That would be funny. All right, what's next? Bath and Body Works? Hey, I hear they have walkie-talkies. Thank you for calling Bath and Body Works. Our store hours are Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. To speak with the next available associate, please press zero. Adolf, One moment, please. Adolf Nippler says we're on the front page of Mixler. Isn't that cool? Because we have 4,000 hearts. Thanks, everyone, for hearting the show. I'm going to heart it myself. We still only have 112 listeners. So. Good, good afternoon, Bath & Body Works. This is Laura. Hi, Laura. This is um, Steve Day from the corporate office with Bath & Body Works. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Hey, are you guys using the walkie-talkies there for the employees? Um, I know a couple people are. Okay, because we noticed that the, the, um, the thingies aren't coming through. We're not hearing the, the, the walkie-talkie chatter stuff. Okay. Buzzwords, I don't know. Like, do you have one there? Um with you I, if you want to hold on I can give you to Maria okay yeah any employee really that has a walkie talkie that would work alright thank you so, quick chat room what, what should she say into the walkie talkies transmissions that's the word green imp <laughs> I didn't know what to say we're going to do test phrases I mean it probably won't work but we're going to try the NRA is changing the name to bloodbath and body works the old man required an ample amount of pressure. Ray speaking, how may I help you? Hey, Ray, this is um, Roy from the corporate office with Bath & Body Works. How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, we're just having a problem with the walkie-talkies. Uh, we weren't picking them up on this end here at the corporate office. Like, are you guys using them today? Yeah, we use them. We have access to them. Okay. Um, do you have one there with you? Yep. Um, could you just transmit a quick test phrase or something? Uh, just, like, I don't know, say the soap has been dropped. That's one of the standard test phrases. If you could say that into the walkie-talkie and see if anyone hears it. Yeah, hold on one second. Okay. I think he's suspicious, and <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. He's probably calling Scott down at the mall office. Yeah, we got that guy on the phone. Just like he said he would. The douche went swoosh in the cooch. Hobos and jerks love Bath and Body Works. That's catchy. Now I want to call up Bath and, Bath and Body Works and have them do the new slogans. It's Bukaki time. I don't think he's going to come back. I think he's 
I think he's running to the mall office with his cordless phone. Scott, Scott. We got him. I think I may just hang up. Do you have an extension number? Uh, no. I'm calling from okay, the corporate we, office. We need to call you back, man. What for? Because we need to call you back. Don't you trust me? No, I don't. So Why not? What makes you not trust me? What, what did I say that <laughs> fucked it up? All right. I knew it. He, he was off. <laughs> like, doing something. Shit. Okay. Um, the walking company. I agree with some people in the chat room that says I really need to use the the hold music. But um, okay, so what kind of situation sh could I cause to uh, need that music? That's more of a thing that I would use with a customer than a store place. I should have told that guy. Yeah, let me get my supervisor. Here's Portrait Simple. Here's JC Smoothies. Love Sack. Here's a place called Love Sack. Uh, it's a furniture store, I guess. Unique patented furniture products, including the company's original foam-filled sacks. Modular sectional furniture concepts. Portrait Simple, this is Selena speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Selena. This is Roy from the mall office. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, did Linda talk to you yet about the incident? Incident. What um, incident? Well, I guess I think she wants to talk to you personally because um, she, she knows that you were personally involved in it. Can I put you on hold and get Linda? Uh, sure. Okay, um, just hold on just one minute, please. Sure. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line and your call will be answered by the next available representative. My pussy good, pussy sweet. Pussy good enough to eat. Pussy good, pussy sweet. Pussy good enough to eat. My Hello, this is Linda. Can I help you? Hi, Linda. I was told that you wanted to reach out to me. My name's Helena. I'm the manager of Portrait Simple. Oh, hi, Helena. Oh, you wanted to talk to Judy. Uh, uh, let me let I me did? put Judy. Let me get Judy on the phone. This is Willie. Can I help you? Hi, this is Helena from Portrait Simple, and I was told you guys were wanting to speak to me. I'm the manager at Portrait Simple. Oh, you want Judy then, right? Did you want Judy? Uh, I don't know. You guys just called me. Oh, you got the wrong department. Here, let me transfer you over to, to Ju okay, thank you. Judy's office. Okay, here we go. that you guys want to speak to me? I was just called. I'm, my name's Helena. I'm the manager of Portrait Simple. Oh, that's... <laughs> Hello? Hi. I, I can't really hear you. Oh, yeah, I'm really hard. <laughs> Hold on. Hi. Hello? <laughs> hello? Yeah, hello. Uh, um, yeah, this is about the incident. I, I still can't hear you. I'm sorry. Oh, this is about the, the incident that you were involved in with the phone calls and the mall security and everything and Carrot Top and the microwave beams from space, you know? I, I'm sorry. I don't know about any incident. Okay, uh, fine. I'll get Roy. Let me get Roy on the phone. Just a minute. Pussy okay, good, thank you. Pussy sweet. Pussy good enough to eat. Pussy sweet. Pussy eat it up for dinner. Pussy got that deep. Pussy turn the thing into 
was in a pussy. I got that pussy. Platinum black pussy. Put it in the Hall of Fame. I got that classic pussy. I got that boss pussy. That shot caller pussy. When we fuck, it feel like you ain't got no problems pussy. Uh, this is Roy. Hi, Roy. My name's Helena. Calling, uh, you guys call me. I'm the manager of Portrait Simple. Oh, yeah. You were supposed to talk to... Um Oh, who was it? Carol or something? Something with a C. I forget now. Um, well, I don't even know what this is about, to be honest. Oh, um, who'd you talk to? You guys called me. Oh, I thought you talked to someone else, though. Like, they, they transferred you over to me? Yeah, because I couldn't really hear them. Oh, why couldn't you hear them? Um, it was, like, there was, like, some static on the line. <laughs> oh, was it Carol? Uh, Carol just talks like she has kind of a chipmunk voice. Um, sometimes the, the high level of her voice, it's hard for people to hear. Well, I could hear some of it, but there was a lot of static. I see. Okay. Yep. I, I could transfer you back over to Carol. Um, what, sure, that's fine. Was it Carol? The bunnies are over there. The bunnies? I'm sorry, sorry what? Sorry, someone's asking me a question. Oh, who was it? Was it an employee or a, a customer? Oh, it was a customer. Yep. That's exactly what we heard. That's probably... <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, let me get Carol just a minute, please. Pussy, kill a nigga, rock the pussy. Tens, twenty, fifties, got that hundred dollar bill. Make a nigga cheap pussy, nut, and then I cheap pussy. Fucking so good, I'm moving in next week, pussy. Tricking off to keep the pussy, beat it like the beat pussy. So fresh and so clean, I got that in TV. My pussy good, pussy sweet. Pussy good enough to eat. Pussy good, pussy sweet. Pussy good enough to eat. My pussy good, pussy sweet. This is Roy. Hi, Roy. It's still Helena. Oh, hey, Helena. What'd you call me for? I, I didn't. I, 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 you guys called me about some incident. Oh, no. My phone rang. Um, were you playing some kind of obscene music at us? That was weird. No, that's just the music that's been playing whenever you guys go on hold. Oh, what, what does the music say? I, something about sweet or good enough to eat. I have not been paying attention to it. Oh, like you didn't, that's all you heard is sweet and good enough to eat? What else did it say? What, what other? I couldn't hear it. I was like... I was like, what is this song? And I was just like, okay. Was it too loud or something? No, it wasn't that loud. Let me, let me like, try and get the optimal um, listening volume. Can you hear it now? Yeah, that's it. No clue what it's saying. I think it's saying my pussy good, my pussy sweet, pussy... Yeah, that might be that. I would say probably you might want to change that song. Oh, no. Not, this is catchy. I've never heard this before. <laughs> Eat it up for dinner, pussy. Eat it up for dinner, pussy. Yeah. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> this is awesome. Who sings this? I've never heard this. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to look this up online. Okay. Ma make you leave your wife, pussy. That's what she said. That's an awesome line. <laughs> that hits. That hits close to home for me. <laughs> Right. So, um, Finger licking okay. pussy. Oh my. What? Uh, I still need to know about the incident that you guys were calling me about. Oh, yeah, I can put Carol on the phone. Yes, please. Okay, just a minute, please. Um, you do have to book an appointment. Okay, so how do I do that? I can book it with you in just a second, or you can uh, give us a call. Yeah. It's on the back of the brochure. Hi, like. hey, Carol, sorry. Um, you guys are calling me about some incident. My, I'm the manager of Portrait Simple. Oh, no, the incident. That's that's with uh, Amber Combrey and Fritch. That's not you. No, that's not you. What are you talking about? Okay, I was so confused. I was like, what incident? Yeah, it's all cool. You're cool. Okay, thank cool. you. Hey, hey um, what's your name? Helena. Helena. My pussy good, pussy sweet, pussy good enough oh, to eat. <laughs> All right, thank you. Pussy good. All right, bye. Um, bye, Helena. Bye. 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 She just didn't care. That's the problem. We need to call, like, the Christian bookstore or something. That's what we need to do. <laughs> That was bizarre. Um, man, Brookstone. You guys, I gotta get going. Like, I seriously, I have shit to do today. 
Um, let's see. The Cheesecake Factory. Sprint Store. Okay, let's go back to the upper level. Pottery Barn. What's Pottery Barn? Expertly crafted home furnishings and decor. Decor, sorry. Classic furniture, bedding, accessories. Okay, that sounds boring. Oh, and next door, Pottery Barn Kids. Uh, I should try one more time, though, shouldn't I? Just one more transfer thing. Like, Pottery Barn Kids, that seems like the kind of place that wouldn't want to hear uh, my pussy good, pussy sweet, make you leave your wife pussy. <laughs> Thanks for calling Potty Barn Kids. This is Mariel. How can I help you? Hey, Mariel. Uh, this is um, Maria from the mall office. Hi, Maria. How are you? Hey, pretty good. Um, has Linda talked to you yet about the incident? No, she has not. What's oh. going on? Oh, uh, she probably wants to tell you herself. Can I put you, uh, can I put you on hold and I'll, I'll put Linda on the phone? Yes, of course. I'll, I'll ring over to Linda's office here in the mall, in the mall office. Okay. Okay, just a minute, please. Sure. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. My pussy good, pussy sweet, pussy good enough to eat. Pussy good, pussy sweet, pussy good enough to eat. My pussy good, pussy sweet, pussy good enough to eat. Pussy good, pussy sweet, pussy good enough to eat. Fuck me all night, pussy. Make you leave your white pussy, cause this what you like, pussy. Light down on your pipe, pussy. Ride you like a bike, pussy. It do whatever you ask it to. Night, Ow. pussy. Top notch, bitch, pussy. Aquafina, wet, pussy. Louis Gucci. Hello, uh, this is Steve Dave. Can I help you? Hi, this is Mariel from Potty Brankets. I was oh. put on hold. By the mall office. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm here in the. Uh, I'm. I'm. He I'm here in the janitor closet. Um, did you want to talk to Linda or something? Yes, please. Okay. Can I put you on hold? I, I got to transfer the call to Linda's office. Yes, of course. Okay, just a minute, please. Hello, this is Brad. Can can I help you? Hi, I was placed on hold to speak to Linda. Oh, Linda. Uh, Linda's in the mall office. I'm here at the information desk. Yeah, they've been transferring me to different um, offices saying that it was for Linda's office. But Oh, yeah, Linda's probably the person you want to talk to. Um, is this regarding the incident or something? I don't even know what kind of incident it is. Oh, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I don't know. Is it like involved like you and the Lego store and, and that all that stuff that happened earlier, I guess? I have no clue. Yeah. Um I could I could transfer you over to Linda's extension if you'd like. That's what I've been like two people already have tried to transfer me over to her. Oh, wh why'd you Yeah, and like why'd you call me then? No, I didn't. Somebody called me. Her mm -hmm. name is Maria. And then she said she was gonna transfer me to Linda. Um, somebody picked up the phone from janitor office and they said they were going to transfer me to Linda and now you picked up. Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> did, the, did the phone ring or did you just hear the hold music? I've been hearing hold music. Um, was it the easy listening hold music? I'm not sure which system they transferred you through. Hmm, that's weird. Which, so which, yeah, so which song was it? I got a call first from Maria. Which song then, was it on the hold system? I have, it's like some hip hop. Hip hop? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can transfer you over to Linda's office if you'd like. Sure, thank you. Okay, here we go. Ride you like a bike pussy. It do whatever you ask it to. Nice pussy. Top notch best pussy. Aquafina wet pussy. Louis Gucci Prada. Yeah, you know I got that fresh pussy. He love the way it feel pussy. Kill a nigga about the pussy. 10, 20, 50s got that honey dollar bill. Make a nigga cheat pussy. Nut and then I cheat pussy. Fucking so slow. Damn it, I was gonna be a robot next. I was gonna be like security robot at your service. 
Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn, damn it. it. She hung up on me. Is she still there? Uh, yeah, she's gone. East of the Rockies, you're on the air. East of the Rockies, you're on the air. You're on the air. East of the Rockies. Hello, North Carolina. You're on the air. Okay, so thanks to North Carolina. I'm, okay, I'm, bye-bye. I'm, I'm ending the show. I love you, Katie K. Okay. <laughs> North Carolina was afraid to talk to me. Um, should I make one more call before we quit for the day to, um, I kind of want to call the, uh, oh, not the O-bag, the, the chocolate place. Hold on, I got to change my number. Hello, hello. I had to turn way, way, like a little bit too low when <laughs> the last time I did this. Hello, hello. Oh, that's weird. Hello. Okay, hello, hello. Test, test, test. Do I, do I sound corporate-y? I'm sure I do. Let's see if he breathes heavy at me. This is Lint Chocolate. Thanks for calling Lint. Emily speaking. How can I care for you today? Hi, Emily. Uh, this is Maria from the corporate office with Lint Chocolate. Hi. Is there a male working there? Yes. There, there's some guy, I guess he was telling customers to kill himself. Uh, Did, do you know anything about this? We were getting prank phone calls. Um, well, even if it's a prank caller, he can't be telling people to kill themselves. That's not cool. Um, did you want to speak to him? Yeah, who is it? What's his name? Mike. Mike? Do you have his phone number, like his personal phone number? Um, he's right next to me. Okay, yeah, if I could just talk to Mike. Yep. Um, Hi, this is Michael. Hey, Michael. Uh, this is Maria from the Lint Chocolate Corporate Office. And Who is it? We understand you've been making prank calls and telling people to kill themselves. I'm sorry, who is and this again? This is Maria from the Corporate Office with Lint Chocolate. Maria who? Uh, no. No, not Maria who. Oh, uh, what's your last name, then? Uh, Jurbel. What is it? Jurbel. Listen here, motherfucker. Can you, you can't can you take me telling people to kill themselves and breathing heavy on the phone. When people call in, did you hang up on me? Well, shit. <laughs> I think he was... I think he was nervous at first, but then he quickly noticed uh, that I was full of shit again. I just kind of cannot win with Mike over at Lint Chocolate. He always gets one over on me. Damn it, Mike. So I've been doing two hours. I know the first hour was just a bunch of bullshit with people not answering and, and people like teachers living at their school or whatever. Sorry about that, but we had fun at the mall. Um, thank you once again, Slug Powder, for sending the mall numbers in. And um, the other guy, Pyro, thanks for those teacher numbers. I'm sure I can do something with those in the future. They just didn't work for what I wanted to do today, I guess. Since I didn't understand their living situations. That was weird. I'm sorry, Henrik, for stealing two hours of your time. Thanks for listening, everyone. I'll put this up on the feed sometime soon. Maybe this weekend or something. I don't know. Oh, who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? Oh. You are listening to Roy on the Snowplow Show. Oh. Still stepping in that dog shit every day. Hey, Brad. It's Battle Boner. And I'm wondering whatever happened to that, uh, the prank star talking clock thing. That old thing. Developed by Hijinx Labs. I remember that. Anyway, what the Whatever. fuck happened to it? I can't find it. I developed that fucking and, thing. Uh, I, I used to. I made it all by myself. And then uh, PCN took it over for a while, but then they just deleted it from their site. I don't know why. Fucking PCN. And then Hijinx asked if they could take it over. I think they completely redid the code so it didn't suck. Because my code sucks. I don't know how to code shit. And as far as I know, it's on their website. I heard somebody referring to it recently. Is it hijinx.xyz, maybe? Like having that background noise. Oh, whatever. Thanks, Brad. Tell me. I'm sure you told me by now. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate that. Bye. You're welcome. Uh, no, there's no hijinks.xyz. Is it hijinks pranks? God, I don't know. Figure out where the hijinks uh, website is. I don't see a URL on there. Oh, wait. No, no. There it is. Hijinks.fun. Man, you, you damn millennials and your damn crazy top-level domain names. No, there's nothing on that site. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. If it still exists, 
You shouldn't have thanked me, Battle Boner, because I have no information for you. I don't know what happened to that clock. I had a really good clip for it the other night, too. Um, I think it was on a hobo sode. I forget what I was saying to her. I think it was one of those Craigslist Arkansas numbers that I did on a hobo sode. And the lady's like, and you're calling me at 2.29 in the morning? Or something like that. Or was it a guy? I'm sure if you look in the comments, Palindrome will be around telling everyone where the clock is located. If it still exists. Hey, Brad. This is Chupacabra. Just hey. want to let you know that my wife was prank calling last night and had a great time doing it. She's inspired by you. We laugh at your show all the time. Wait, you did really I play this already? bring a lot of joy to us because we just find it great quality. Didn't I yell at your wife? Entertainment. She calls it doing God's work, shaking people up a little bit. Aww. But anyway, she had a good one. I'm she sure God would feel the same way. Eleventh last night and told him that uh, she got herpes off of the Slurpee machine, the herpy Slurpee. Uh, so... <laughs> She was putting her mouth on it, just getting slurpy. free pulls, and she thinks it gave her herpes. And boy, it had people pretty paranoid that maybe they were going to get it too. So, didn't know if that's something you could work into one of your bits, but uh, I thought it was pretty good. Anyways, later. I know. Boys. I always think it's funny to uh, create medical panics. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing could go wrong with that. Hey, Brad. Hello, slot tight. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to call in and say the uh, the shows have just been fantastic recently. The frequency of them. That's has been incredible. Uh, great thing to look forward to after work. It's because of the hobo so the Patreon supporter, whatever, people. They're supporting the show, making me do extra shows. Also, the other day I was looking through some of the comments in one of your videos and I saw a comment by Ryan Jardina. Uh -oh. I thought, hey, I recognize that name. And I clicked on his YouTube account and he has this video. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's old, several years old. It's like got like 60 views or something. Mm -hmm. And from what I can tell... He is a grown man, and it's a video of him riding in circles in a tiny train made for children. That sounds inside amazing. Of a mall somewhere, and I, as far as I can tell, he's the only person in it. People are pointing at him and stuff. It's hilarious. Uh, you should go ahead and link that in the show notes on your next show. Okay. Uh, it's good stuff, you know. Uh, it's worth we're, we're taking a look at. I don't know uh, where it is. Uh, we'll see you later. Ryan Jardina. Post a link in in the YouTube comments or whatever, if you don't mind. I don't mean to order you around. I mean, I know you're my supervisor and everything, but apparently more people need to see a grown man riding around on a train. Who wouldn't want to see that? Hey, Brad. Hey. Why is it that you really don't like burping? Like, oh, why? What's, Sorry. What's, like, what's just the deal here, man? I, just, I don't understand. Like, I got you know, triggered. You said burping, and it just you, happened. You really got a thing about burping. By the way, guys, if you really want to piss him off, Keep burping in the voicemails. Yeah, Bye. everybody do that, because I'll totally play those. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of listening to people burp on their shows. It doesn't really trigger me as much as I pretend it does. I don't really care what people do on their shows. But really, who wants to hear that? It's not a big deal. I've burped on plenty of shows. Uh, hey. hey! Corbin Guy. Hey! It's Corbin Guy. Hey, Root Brick. Yay! That 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 was that was good. That was funny. What you was know? good? What are you talking uh, about? Uh, yeah. Oh it, yeah, it he really did the uh... in rehab. Yay! But yay! You know, oh come on, rehab's fun. And yeah, that's that's awesome. And and, and and you suck ass. All right, Ooh, I love you. Me or Ruprecht? Yeah, Ruprecht did those uh, hang up the phone calls with my voice. And speaking of that. I think that's what he did. Is that what Corbin Guy is talking about? It must be. But somebody else sent me some more of that stuff. And you are about to be treated to, I don't know, it's like a good 10 minutes or something. I don't know if I'll play the entire thing. But I kind of skimmed through it and it is kind of amusing, I guess. Uh, it's from someone named Sickle Sal. He says, hey Roy, this is Sickle Sal. My buddy Ruprek the Monkey Boy sent you the one that I made a while back. And I see you played it in episode 441. Attached is a file that contains a dozen more calls I made using this soundboard. And I need to link to the soundboard again in the show notes. I will do that once again. I'm going to do that right now. Because nobody can do this without the soundboard. The soundboard is definitely an important part of this. He says, I edited them for time and separated them with a short tone. Some are better than others. Well, why didn't you leave the shitty ones out? Oh, and look at this. He sent me a link to where the soundboard is. Just in case I'd forgotten where it was again, like last time. But yep, that is in the show notes. I'm going to play a few of these hang up the phone calls. And then we'll finish up with the voicemails. Let's see if this is any good. Hello? 
Hang up the phone. You hang up the phone. Hang up the fucking phone, motherfucker. Fuck you, dick. Hang up the motherfucking phone. You're an idiot. You're editing out all the comedic pauses. You're taking all your pauses out. You stupid dick face. God, he's He's responding way too fast. Hello? Comedic pauses are hang very important, phone. Sickle Sal. Hang up the phone. What do you mean, hang up the phone? Hang up the fucking phone, motherfucker. Who are you talking to? Hang it up. Who? I said hang up who the phone. Who is this? You know who I am. No, I don't know who you are. Hang up the motherfucking phone. Awesome. Who are you speaking to me like that? Listen, goddammit. Hang up your phone. I don't have to hang up my phone, motherfucker. You're Whoa. not talking to me like that on my phone. Yes. I'm calling your number. I know I'm not you hanging are. up shit. They're calling me a motherfucker. <laughs> Hang the phone up. Wow. She hung it up. What's up? Hang up the phone. What? I told you. Hang up the phone. Fuck my dick, fool. Hang up the fucking phone, motherfucker. You fucking faggot. You stupid dick face. Yo, mama. Just hang up the goddamn phone. Suck a dick. Listen, goddammit. Hang up your phone. Fuck a dick. Hang it up. Double I told you. Dick. Hang up the phone. Gobble these nuts. Hang up the motherfucking oh, phone. You got me Gobble there. Gobble these nuts like your mama be gobbling them. You stupid dick face. Gobble these dick. You better hang it up. You, you'll hang it up eventually. Hello? Hang up the phone. I like how he separates the calls with the tone, but then there's a ring. Wouldn't the ring be the tone to separate it with? You don't come to my house and tell me what to do. Listen, goddammit. Hang up your phone. I'm not going to hang up my phone till I decide to. Whoa. Hang up the fucking phone, motherfucker. What a feisty you know, old lady. You are such low life. I, I would be ashamed if I were you to feel like I called somebody's house and talked to them like that. She's arguing you with the recording. Low life. That's the best part. Hang up the goddamn phone. Just hang up the phone and old people always have their TVs blaring in the background. There's a tone and then another tone. Hang up the phone for what? Because I said so. Hang up for what? Hang up the fucking phone, motherfucker. Who the fuck is it? I told you, hang up the phone. No, I ain't gonna hang up the phone. I'm gonna hold on and see who the hell this stupid motherfucker is. Don't worry about who I am. Why are you calling my number with this shit? Just hang up the goddamn phone. You hang up, idiot. No, you need to hang up the phone, you stupid dick face. You'll hang it up eventually. Hey, he hung it up. Hello? Hang up the phone. Who is this? I don't know who the fuck you are. Just hang up the phone. I dare you. Jeff, look, somebody called and said hang up the phone. I ain't hang up the phone. They just called. <laughs> and I, I will not hang up the phone. Was, and they said, they said, um, they, they said, who, who, who? She's tattling on me. I ain't hung up the phone yet. Still the phone. Hello? Hang up the phone. Who is this? Don't worry about who I am. Whatever. Hang up the Where fucking phone, motherfucker. Where you at? Hang up the motherfucking phone. That's so <laughs> See, we need an app. Someone needs to make like an Android app that has this whole soundboard on it and it lets you call the, the people and, and play the soundboard at them so they can hear it and it records their voice. That's what we need. Or we just need to code some sort of an asterisk Linny type thing with with these clips. That could work out. I'm just gonna play one or two more. Hello. Hang up the phone. What are you telling me to hang up my phone for? What are you, who are you just calling on? Hang up the fucking phone, motherfucker. You catch me just saying, tell me hang up the phone, motherfucker. Hello? Hang up the fucking phone, motherfucker. You hang your phone up, you son of a bitch. I dare you. What? Just What'd hang you say? up the goddamn phone. You hang yours up. I told you, hang up the phone. You hang yours up. No, you hang up the phone. Hey, why are you calling this phone telling me to hang up my phone? You stupid dick face. I told what? you, hang up the phone. I know what kind of person you are. I hope you don't ever hang up the phone. That's great. Okay, one more. Just one more. Jimmy Johns. Hang up the phone. Do what? Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Hang up the fucking phone, motherfucker. Why is that? Because I said so. That doesn't mean anything to me. Just hang up the goddamn phone. Mm, no. You stupid dick face. Why, thank you. If you wanted me to hang it up, why'd you call me? I told you, hang up the phone. Mm, no. Listen, goddammit, hang up your phone. Mm, no. I got it all night, buddy. We can play this all night long. Here we go. I told you, hang up the phone. No. You called me assuming, you know, hey, you want to talk. Come on, buddy, let's talk. Hang it up. Why are you going to call me tell me to hang up the damn phone? Well, why don't you hang it up then? Because I'm still intrigued on why the hell you called me. Just hang up the phone and this will all be over. Well, 
Like I said, I got all night there, buddy. So if you want somebody hanging up, you, you can hang up yourself. I'm not hanging up shit. Then why the fuck did you call me? You stupid dick face. Why, thank you. I hope you don't ever hang up the phone. I hope I don't either. Because I ain't got shit else to do. Hello? Hang up the phone. Who's this? Just don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. Well, you called me. Listen, goddammit. Is this still Jimmy phone. John's? Don't cuss at me. I'm a lady. Hang up the fucking phone, motherfucker. Um, look, bitch. I don't know who you think you're talking to. Uh, she doesn't sound like a lady all of a sudden. Straight. I don't know who the fuck you are. Just hang up the phone. Why? Listen, goddammit. Hang up your phone. Why? You hang up yours. No, you hang up the phone. Why should I? Because I said to. That don't mean anything to me. I don't care. Just hang up the phone. Why? Like, you called me for a reason. I want to know what you have to say. Quit asking questions and hang up. Nope. Put the phone down. Nope. Or I'll hang it up for you. Release okay. the line. Okay. Hang up then. No, you hang up the phone. Hey, he said he'd hang up for you. I'm going to see how the hell going to hang up for you. Uh, okay, look. <laughs> I'm really not sure why you called, but if you didn't want to talk, then why did you? Hey, it's none of your business. Is this really a Jimmy John's? I don't think so. Hey, you want me to get a trace on that number? You'll hang it up eventually. Yeah, but I'm a pretty persistent person. Well, why don't you hang it up then? I just told you I'm a persistent person. So where are you from? Don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. But I, I mean, I want to know more about you. Quit asking questions and hang up. I want to know more, though. You called. Like, let's have a conversation. Don't worry about it. Just oh. hang up your phone. Mm. Now I'm bored. This well, is boring. Can you at least tell me like, what company off. you work with? Just hang up the phone and this will all be over. Why can't you just explain to me like what you're trying to sell or whatever this is? Don't worry about it. Just hang up. No. Like, I get that you're trying to make money and whatever, but like, come on now. Where'd she we get that from? We shoot Shut up, Brian. You guys better hang up. Why? Like I said, you called for a reason. You called because you wanted to sell something, so sell me on it. I said hang up the phone. Hello? Is anybody there? Mommy, nobody's on the phone. What? Mister? Mister? What's yes. Who are you? Don't worry about who I am. Okay. Fucking okay. Ryan. <laughs> it's Ryan. I don't want to hang thing. up, though. Hey, buddy, you still there? I'm not playing around. Okay, well, then why did you call me? I dare you. You dare me to hang up the phone? Yes. Yeah, that might work on a child, but I'm not a child, so... Oh, I mean, like, I, I just want to know, like, why you called and why you're so persistent on me hanging up the phone. Don't worry about it. Just hang up your phone. No, because I feel like if I do hang up the phone, then it's going to be game over and you win and I don't like losing, so... The phone's not a toy. You're right. You want to talk to this man on your phone, too? Just hang up the phone and oh, it'll all be over. I didn't you know this was going to be a long one. I hope you don't ever hang up the phone. Don't plan on it. I can sit here all night. Do it. Okay. We're cooking steaks okay. or supper. You want us to throw one up there for you too? Yeah. How do you like yours? Rare, well, medium well, medium rare. I, need I don't think this is really Jimmy John's. I mean, if you want it straight off the cat, that's fine. So I am I having my rare, doubts. Rare, medium rare. You big dumb retard. Um... I take that as an offensive word. How would you like it if you had a child that was mentally disabled and someone called your kid retarded? Here we go. You, you'll hang it up eventually. Well, well, I don't... Ha, she hung up. I win. Okay. All right. So I'm done. I'm, I'm going to stop playing those. I thought I was going to stop like three minutes ago, but that one was incredibly long. Maybe I'll come back to that email on a future show and finish those up because there wasn't much time left. Holding my phone upside down, but I'm a first time caller, long time listener, and uh, my name's Kat Astrophy, and god damn, you're fucking awesome. Aww. And I fucking love your show. Oh, and, shucks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And it looks like she left one more message. It's very short. I am such a goddamn hobo. Um, anyways, so I apparently held my phone upside down, and uh, yeah, just wanted to say again, your show is awesome. And Thanks I'm again. Retarded, so hey, fun. I take offense Love at that you. word. Bye. What What if you had a special needs child and someone said retarded to you? Weren't you listening to that call before? Cat task. Roy, this is Will the mechanic. Hey, Will. Long time listener. 
That's nice. Second time caller. Okay. Formerly known as Will G. Okay, I'm going to write this down. I wanted to let you know, man. Your show, I hear all the voice now of people talking about how your show has changed their lives and this and that. Yeah, what's well, wrong with those frankly, people? They're fucking correct, man. It has a little aspect of humor to an otherwise gloomy day. Well, keep up the good I work. I try. Cap dash. Today's live show sure brightened up my day. I didn't get as much done as I planned because I ended up being on the air for two hours. And then I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just going to edit the whole thing and put it up on the feed. But it sure was fun. Okay, so that was the last voicemail, I guess. Unless we want to listen to this other one by Corbin Guy. Nah, I'm just going to delete that one. He left like four voicemails on Wednesday. Who's he think he is? So goodbye, everyone. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Matt Z, for sponsoring today's episode. Please support the show at patreon.com slash phone losers. Supporting the show helps me pay my legal bills and restitution that was caused by this show. So you guys totally owe me, you know. Uh, if I get this up within the next couple hours, don't forget to listen to Dwight. He usually comes on Saturday nights around 7 p.m. Pacific time. Dwight shows are usually pretty fun, so be listening to that on prankcallnation.com. And that's all. Bye, everyone. Let's play some Bone Cage to get out of here. Oh, shit. What I say when I lose my keys. Oh, shit. What I scream when I'm stung by bees. Oh, shit. When I break a statue's penis like chunk from the Goonies says. Oh, shit. What? What I yell when I stub my toe. Oh, shit. How I feel when the weekend's over. Oh, shit. When I'm stuck in the Fratelli's basement like chunk from the Goonies says. Oh, shit. What? Like junk from the Goonies says Oh shit, what? When I'm hungry and I got no food Then I stumble on a baby Ruth Oh shit, and I find a pine of rocky road It's like junk from the Goonies says Oh shit, what? I'm just a chunk in a world that will love me Oh, Hawaiian shirts and a best friend named Sloan Oh shit, what? Trapped in a basement with evil fraternity I'm high as a sock.